it's just gotta kill this thing here. Why is everything so black? What's going on? Oh, well, they are. Uh, whoop! Whoop! <laughs> Dodge everything. There we go. Shields back up to full. Stick it on defensive for that extra oomph. So if we put the point in engine, we get 45% evasion, which seems pretty good. Especially since our guns already seem to do quite a lot. So right now we're at 130% effectiveness, 82% accuracy. Hopefully with another level in gunning, I think level 12 is the max. Should get some pretty cool stuff. I wonder what this is, the level 12 here. I wonder if it's the auto scan thing. I don't know how you're missing these auto, but I'd prefer if you didn't. Right, let's go towards the objective again. So this fight's almost over. There's only three of them left. Should be easy to deal with. Two more hits. Nice. Nice. Good stuff. First jump successful. No damage taken. Just a little bit to the reactor, so let's just quickly fix that. And jump to hyperspace. Let's go. More enemies. That's fine. We have, what, I think it's two more jumps, three more jumps, till we get, need to go to where we're going. We need to head where we are. Uh, it's Bilbo once again. Bilbo, you've missed. After I gave you 100% accuracy, how can you do this to me? I take this as a personal slice. I think he's missed everything. Uh, right, never mind. <laughs> These guys are kind of annoying because they wear down the shields. But at the same time, they do they do literally no damage to the ship, so don't have to worry about anything at all. There we go. One down the shields. Hit Otto a little bit, but done nothing to the structural integrity. Can't get through the armor, unfortunately. Right, let's charge. It might break an engine, which would be a bit of a problem. But one's down, so their effectiveness is decreased. If this is all that there is here, then we have nothing to really worry about. Oh, there's something else. Two more biggins. Let's just get the focus on Otto. So I can attack these guys when they come in. Good shit. That's good. Smash them up. There we go. Two more. Still got a minute to go. This is where the... <laughs> what is that, man? You gotta hit these things, surely. Right, we've lost all of our stuff on the front. You know what? No point in taking risks. We lost some armor plating there, we didn't need to. I wonder where we actually lost it. Was it on the sides? It wasn't on the front. Oh, there it is. We lost one piece there. Yeah, that was unnecessary. I'm just getting a bit impatient. Seems like this game is more concentrated on tankiness, but Bomber Crew is more focused on firepower. So here you can't die, and in Bomber Crew everything dies? Yeah, pretty much. I'd agree with that. Yeah, it's all about managing your survival in this game. 
It does seem like you get a lot less uh, money in this game to do stuff though. Come on, Otto, finish him off. Nice. Alright, second one done. Bit of an asteroid belt, always a worry. More enemies, what, no surprise. See if we can get a quick Ian. Nope. Let's boost the effectiveness of the gun a little bit. See if we can get some early damage in while we're moving in a straight line. Seems to be when our guns are the most accurate. I'm kind of miss using the miniguns. Um, these missiles are a lot less effective against the smaller targets. Let's go defense. No, keep attacking the other dude. He's low. I know this shield's come back up. Nice. He's trying to hit RO2. Oh no. What are we going to do? We're going to have to repair it. Oh, he didn't even hit it. Oh no, he's still on it. Just repair this real quick while we're here. A bunch of things came in when I wasn't concentrating. So let's just make sure they're marked. There's one near me somewhere, isn't there? Oh. Try and get them all marked. Like jiggling and wiggling all over the place. So once again, there is one thing in the sky that I can see that can do damage to the ship. That thing right there. Oh no, there's two. There we go. I think miniguns would absolutely annihilate those things. At least we're getting close to our objective. Nice. Beautiful. Off to the Demeter spiral arm inner. Let's see what's over there. Probably more enemies that we have to kill, if I was gonna guess. Right, are we there? Right, we're where we're supposed to be. There's supposed to be enemies here. Oh, hello. Right, enemy fighters. Right, fighter, cruiser, and other supports. One's already down. Also on the focus fire. Oh, come on. Don't screw me now. This might be a little bit tougher than before. Looks like there's an absolute metric ton of fighters around this. So let's get the focus fire and boost on everybody. Wolf as well. We'll get the overdrive on Otto. We're already surrounded. Bit of a worry. Bunch of small balls. Deal with them. There we go. Basic piloting. Ah, you got it. Damn it. Ah, well, just means that we can stay alive while we deal with these dudes. And three aliens once again. Seems like that doesn't seem to change too much. We are dealing with the enemies quite effectively, though. Oh, Bilbo's trapped him in a corner. Oh, this is not good for business for the aliens. Get that repaired real quick. Nice ooh.
So I'm kind of waiting for the inevitable here. So I don't think they have enough things which actually do damage. Have I played FTL? Yes, I do enjoy FTL quite a lot. This is pretty much an active FTL. So this is much easier and less RNG than FTL, I'll definitely say that. Oh, he's gonna give me the suck. Looks like Bilbo's gonna have to be the anti-suck master again. Go on, Bilbo. Right, I think there's like two or three left, maybe? Look at him go! Boom, baby. Bilbo in the house. Come on, it's the last one. Hit him. Oh, why are you struggling like this? Come on. Nice. Oh no, there's one more. He's trying to board. <laughs> yeah, it's going to go well for you. Alright, where is the thing we have to go to? There we go. There's a wreckage. I kind of like this view here. What do you think? It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's like the, uh, I don't know, the commander's view. Nice little touch. Need to set some claymores on the back of that thing. Well, something you can do, dog, is if you let them in, you can, like, you can go to this position here. And then you can actually do this, and purge him. As you can see. If you ever run into a real issue. Task Force Alpha was the first exposition we ever launched into deep space. The mission was to investigate and halt Phasmid incursions. Well, they fucking failed, didn't they? We lost communication with them as they neared their destination, but for several years after their mission, all Phasmid activity appeared to cease. The rest of their fleet may be nearby, returning to base so we can further analyze the data collected by your scans. Uh oh. That worries me quite a lot. Alright. Ah, fuck it. Let's get home. Screw everything. No balls. They can't, they can't kill us right now, and we've got our fighter from cruiser spot back, so we should be fine. Unless we run into something we don't know, we should be completely fine here. What does that say? Oh, Athena Station? Oh, okay. So I can just, I can jump when we get there. Okay, I'll do that. Just make sure we stay alive during this. <laughs> that guy got mullered. There we go. There they are. Right, two more. 600 to go. What system are you turning off? Could you leave my O2 alone, please? Not very kind of you. Thank you. Right, charge, fast jump time. Let's go. Let's get out of this hell hole. I think bits are falling off my ship. But it should be fine. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Bye bye. Can it happen in this game like you take damage, it breaches the hole, and drags a crew member out? I haven't seen it yet, dog. With the most I've ever taken damage in a part is yellow. So. Like, even this, our whole system is still green, as you can see in the bottom. Uh, 
Alright, let's see what this information gives us, if it gives us anything. At least that makes them level 11. <laughs> we have a big old reactor now, which should be harder to deal with. That doesn't matter too much, because we have all of the proper armor plating now, and we also have the big shields. Boom. So 1500, we've gone up by 250. It's going to take a little bit longer to recharge, but that's fine. Our ship is in a ridiculously good state right now. Expand hyper jump gate. Explore gamma. I'm going to gamma. Screw it. Let's have a look. Alright, wolf. To weapons. Hands get on the gun. And let's go. Like, if, I'm guessing there would be, like, breaches and stuff, which would be really cool, right? But I haven't seen any, so... Anything big happen in the last ten minutes? Not really. We just found some extra... We found some extra information on the first set of individuals that came out here to work on, like, trying to stop the plasmid threat. And the plasmid threat ceased for a few years, but, um... They didn't come back, and they all died. Uh, so we found some information on them, but that's about it. Nothing crazy. Hopefully it'll lead us to something. Nice shot. Let's try and get a second one. Some more coming in over here. Alright, I think we got a secondary kill. Four minutes, that means there's another group coming in. Alright, let's go defense. Oh, there's no way we're gonna kill that thing before it boards. You know what? We'll give it a go. Let's give this, uh, let's give this purge thing a go, see how it works. Oh, he killed it, are you serious? Otto's a boss, man. Gonna kill this one though. Right, why have I stopped? Come on. Nah, he's not gonna. Right, come on, hands. Let's see how this purge works. That seems pretty easy. <laughs> oh dear. So as long as we don't have anything in there, we don't have to worry about them anymore. Oh god. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Enjoy space. So the crew can't suffer from Stockholm Syndrome like an FTL? No. Doesn't seem like it. What are we at now? 2.39. Do a bit of evasiveness. Whee! Ah! Whee! Ah! No try once, nothing to really worry about. These new shields are holding pretty well. This is the only first area there. Just kind of waiting for stuff to die. Nice. Right, let's head towards the objective, because we should deal with these guys pretty soon, so. Apart from this big hunker up here. You see what happens? I look at Bilbo. Like, they can't hit the guys above, they get confused. If 
Phasmid was the imposter? I mean, technically, yes. Alright, last guy. Let's see if we can deal with him. Come on. That should crack him. There we go. Alright, next stage. Here we go. Let's see what goes on this time. Since an FTL, it's possible to cycle out your original crew with a completely new one on one run. I mean, technically you can do that, but your crew has to die. Like, in order to get a new crew member in this, that crew member has to die. So if we get a new pilot, it'll be because our original pilot died. Yeah, there we go. That gets rid of the mines, thank god. Could have been a bit of an issue. Bonk, 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 bonk. Four minutes again, way too long. 2.39 now, though. Seems like it might go on the squadrons and not the individual vehicles themselves. Just trying to work out how like the hyper jump time works, like the ready to charge. So once again, out of these six ships, only actually three of them do any type of damage to us. Try and take out the ones which do damage to us. There we go. Sorted. There's a mothership boss you can encounter, or maybe it's a mission objective. Uh, we already ran into two, so. Is it only fighters, or do the enemies have, like, catsful ships? Yeah, we've run into two uh, motherships so far. And also the, um, the bosses. Uh, sorry, the bounties. So, like, the ace pilots. Uh, the motherships, like, once you figure out how to deal with them, they're not too bad. I'm hoping that there's more expansion on them. Um, I'm sure there will be. Oh, that guy got clattered. Yeah. You ain't surviving. Oh, those are just the normal ones. Yeah, that guy won't do anything. It takes those ones way too long to be able to kill anything. This guy, though, can be kind of annoying, but dead. Engage. Like, maybe we'll find something here. Looks like there's no enemies here. This is Hades. Get to see it up close and personal. Nice that we got a free free ride here, though. Right, let's fix a few things. Uh oh. So we found the wreckage of Task Force Alpha. So it looks like they got absolutely twatted. Something blew them up. Wonder if this is going to be a trap. Going to get because they did say that there was an enemy fleet nearby. This might be a bit of a problem. It's very sad to see them get destroyed, though. Our brothers in arms. Scott said it again. Uh, we left squad. Uh, we left Scott after we uh, went through a wormhole. Luckily, there's nothing left at all. Well, great. Is that all you've got for me? Oh, maybe they'll find something. 
If there's three hyper jumps and there's four hyper jumps on this one, like there's there's no point in me going to the hard route. Hey Darmain, how you doing man? Like hopefully we can get a bit more information than it's all dead. Uh would be nice. It's back to Hades. Looks like there's enemies at Hades. Let's see what we can find. Oh my. Otto is going to be busy today. Put him into overdrive. Nice, one down. Let's try and get two down. Increased radiation probably isn't doing him any good, but uh, he'll survive. If we can annihilate these guys and do this, we should be okay. Looks like we're going to have some uh, people on board soon. Unless Otto has something to say about it. No, they're coming in. Or are they? Oh shit. They just ran straight through. They're learning. Probably because they destroyed that thing already. Oh. Uh oh. Well, that's very bad. We kind of need our shields. Yeah, let's go back to base. Get everything healed and all of that good stuff.